that great, but it does its job. Um, whoa. I can't set things on fire on the side like the like the um thing. Flint and steel. Blah, 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 blah. Hello and welcome back to the Drunken Gamer. We're enjoying some Violet Margarita. Not violent, violet, like the flower. Or color, purple. Today we're looking to augment my uh, spell, which is somewhere over there. First I had to create this uh, Book of Alteration. Which required... Nope, not that thing. So I had to get... Some vellum, leather, red dye, ventium dust. Those things are fairly easy. But I needed to craft these shapes, which were interesting. And then the infused thread. Which that requires... The infused silk and ventium dust. With the necto. With the, and then infused silk, as, we, as you've seen before. So, how to craft, craft all those things. So now, I want... Uh, is it control? No. Uh, Z. There it is. What are the options? I don't know what those mean. Time. Probably range. Is that what that... Yeah. Okay. I want more range. What are the other options? Speed. Damage. That could definitely be useful. And delay. I don't know. So, first off, we mostly want range. And so now we need to do a ritual of altercation. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So still nine by nine. So we need a centerpiece. So there. And then, whoops, one space away on each side of it. And then, so one space away, one space up. One space away, one space there. Same thing with this one. Is that right? Uh, there. Uh, there. And there. Does that look right? One, two, three, four, five. Center, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So we want... We got range. We want our... We need our spell back out of there, I guess. I'm going to stick that there. And I think we need the purified dust for this. Let's see how well this works, shall we? Dust. Purified Ventium dust. And then it'll tell us what we need to make that work. No? Okay, I fucked something up. What did I fuck up? 5x5. Five five. Oh, so it's not a 9x9. Nine nine, deep to D. Fuck. So it's only a 5x5, five five, so pick that back up. Pick that back up. So if it's this one. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so these are all right next to each other. Damn it. And then there and there, there and there. It's kind of weird when it's that small. Kind of throws you off. Uh, where'd my stuff go? No, oh, I still need that one. So, book, spell. Uh, apparently, it wants to do it the other way around. Okay. Whatever. Whoa, okay. Now I gotta get a bunch of shit. So I need string, bow, arrow, what's a golden arrow, motherfucker? Does it have to be a perfectly a good bow? Because I have a bunch of not so good bows. 
Got a crossbow. Let's try it. And if not, we'll figure that out. Uh, we need an arrow. I got to figure out what that gold arrow is. Spectral arrow. I'm guessing. So let's make one of those. Or a couple of those. What else? We needed some string. One day I'll learn how to spell string. What is this? Zombie heart. Yeah, I don't need that. I don't need leather. Did I need leather? I don't think so. We needed... What is it? A trap? No. What is that? Um... Fuck, it's a regular Minecraft item. This thing. Tripwire hook. Make one of those. What else did we need? Let's see. Yeah, it did accept the bow. Crazy. I'm okay with it. I uh, don't have a lead. I have string. I have a tripwire. So I just need a lead. Sweet. I've almost got this. I'll have a little bit more range. So, I know I got a bunch of leads because I've had to kill all these little fuckers that are keep bringing rats and llamas into me. And speaking of which, there was a trader over there hanging out on the ledge, and his llama was like hanging by the lead, dangling, bouncing. It was kind of, well, a little fucked up, to be honest. <laughs> Ooh, pretty. Now we're going to have more s range. Oh, bam. Now... Still only a range of three. Damage. Oh, what? It didn't change it. It didn't change. What the fuck? What is the point? If the range didn't actually alter it. What did I do wrong? You can only have three modifiers on a spell. Okay, I've added the one. It was just the one modifier. That's all I wanted. It looked like it worked. What the fuck, man? Did it... Add a modifier to a spell using Ritual of Altercation. Okay, well, it, it counted for that. Doesn't look like it actually increased its range at all. Because, yeah, see, the range is still three. It doesn't give a... Open by holding left control and right clicking. Left control and right clicking. Ah! Oh. There we go. Yeah, fuck yeah. We can go up to 16. Oh. Well, how much does it cost now? <laughs> well, that's better. <laughs> Fuck yeah. I touch you from afar. Sweet. Okay, so it did work. So now we want damage. Let's do a ritual of altercation damage. Uh, Z. Let's make this a powerful spell. Okay, so... Where's our chalk? Let's see what this is going to take to make damage. So one, two, three... Dink, 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 uh, dink, dink, uh, dink, dink, uh, it wanted to go this way for some reason, which is fine. And then you, ah, bam, whoa, that's a lot of fucking swords. So I need wood, stone, iron, gold, and diamond, Jesus. What swords do we have? We have a stone. We have a gold. Let's use this crappy gold one. We have an iron. So we need a wooden sword. Uh, okay. <laughs> Apparently we got to manufacture shit. And we need a diamond sword. Did we get our wooden sword stuff? And then we needed a couple of runes. Looks like both red runes. Sword, sword, sword. Yep, two red runes. So I really need to teach this how to make runes, don't I? Let's do that. So 
or glyphs for all these things. So, God damn it! Stop typing. So there's the black glyph. Okay, let's move. I don't need tripwire hooks. I don't need those anymore. I don't need that. Don't need that. That's the black glyph I just created. Keep this stuff for now, but get it out the way. Okay, uh, blue glyph. Uh, R. And definitely red glyph, because we need to do that right now. So, brown. Eventually, I'll have it being able to do all the colors. Although, that's part of what needing, you know, I did say that between episodes, I was going to move stuff, and I obviously didn't. So, green. I need to. <laughs> light blue. Uh, light gray. We'll just stick all these in here for now. The light gray was the last one, right? Light gray, so lime. Fuck. Lime. Uh, magenta. Magenta, magenta, orange. So these are all pink. Different colors of glyphs you can get. And depending on what ritual, probably ends up using most of them. I already did the red one. Don't have purple yet. And white. And yellow. And I don't know if I taught it how to make a blank. Does it know how to make a blank? Probably not. Don't see it. No. So we also need to teach it how to make a blank glyph. God damn it. Whoops. Alrighty. So now the machine knows how to make all these things. Uh, we're going to go to sleep real quick. And so we need, no, not magenta. We need two red glyphs. It doesn't know how to make red dye. <clears throat> so our red machine, our dye machine, we got one more color available. Wait. Oh, yeah, because that can only do eight. That can do nine. Um, all right. Well, let's teach it how to make red dye. So we want to make red dye from the petals, though. Uh, red dye specifically from this one. Red shimmering mushroom. Interesting. We want that without that. No, don't make the dye. You motherfucker. Are you kidding me? Process, oh, uh, you fucker. And I need petal. I don't have red petals. Fuck. Do I have mystic red flowers? Tall mystical red flowers. Sweet, I do, okay. So let's make some red petals first. I think. Okay, and then back up to here. So mystical red petal plus that, bam, equals this. And then we go over to this machine. First off, spit that in there. And we need a red petal. We need a red dye. This machine, we also have to teach it how to make. So that thing and that thing. Okay, figured it out. Apply. Yes. Now, if I throw that in there, bam, it makes a red dye. Sweet! Now we got red dye. And we'll have to make a whole other machine for the other eight colors. So now we want a red glyph. Uh, two of them. It should be able to just craft them. Voila! Sweet! I like it. I like it a lot. Automation. Automation. 
pink and pink and purified and work. Woo, Petey. Do, 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 So it's the same altercation cliff, it's just different items in there, and poof. That's fast. That's kind of cool. Alrighty, now, uh, sneak, uh, sneak. There we go. Fuck yeah, we want more damage. Holy shit. Okay. So that takes the complexity. Those little numbers, it can only be a level 40 complex spell. So 7 is the most damage I can do with that range. That kind of sucks. I don't care about the duration. Oh, I see. So you can actually make them burn longer. That's okay. So if we reduce that one, can I increase that one? No. I have to reduce it. No, oh, fuck. No, I want the more range. So 7 damage, 16 range. That's the best I can do with this spell. I wonder how I can make it more powerful. I want, how do I get more damage? Huh. Alright, now we gotta go test it. Uh, jetpack on? Yep. Uh. <laughs> yeah, still not enough to kill a cow quickly. Ow! Fucker! Finish burning down this forest. And I'm leveling up in the process. Ha. Oh, fucker. So cool. I mean at least now I have range. More range. Still not a whole lot of damage. I don't know about that. Uh, left control, right clicking. Nope, I have to actually pull it out to do stuff. So it's kind of interesting. So what if I drop the range to 10 spaces? How much can I increase the damage? That's it? 8? Fuck, that increases complexity quickly. So if I want close... 8.5, 9... Fuck, I'm down to 4? But it does nine damage. <sighs> How do I increase the complexity capabilities of it? So that is what I want to know. Where's the complexity? Casting spells, modifying spells. Once a spell is crafted, rote can be used to make spells on the fly as you go. You can also perform the Ritual of Altercation once unlocked, which can add modifiers to a spell up to a maximum of three. Is there something on the alterca alteration thing? Uh, that was Z, right? There's delay, range. What's this one? Speed and damage. So none of those are what I want. Uh, put that back to range, because that's probably the next thing I'll do for the next spell. Um... Hmm. Book of Rote. Soft touch, activate, break, collapse. Oh, I got more stuff now. Check this out. Entangle, Earth Sky, Divination, Gust, Leap, Range. I can alter the formula for a spell to increase its range. It doesn't seem to affect projectiles since their range is more based on their speed than anything else. But I might be able to extend my metaphysical touch range and more. That's cool. That's uh, what I've done. Oh wow, there's all kinds of transitory tile, damage, speed, frost damage, so I can do frost damage now. That'll be fun. Poison. So that added a bunch of things I can do now. Rune aura. The aura rune pattern is used to apply enchantments focusing on auras surrounding the enchantment bearer. These enchantments are extremely powerful and can even affect nearby allies. Well, that's kind of cool. Maybe I should get into runecrafting and put some stuff on my armor. This is actually a really neat mod. Uh, this is kind of neat stuff here. Modifying spells. So, I still can't... Pick up 
Purely by memory. Seem to... Oh, and I'm getting an affinity of fire there at the bottom right corner there. 9.3% because it's my only spell that I've made. What's a book of rote? As you cast spells, you begin to learn more about their properties and how they work. You can see rote progress for each individual spell, part, shapes, components, and modifiers in the oculus. Parts gain different or gain experience at different rates. Once they are rote, you can use them in a book of rote to make spells with single shapes and multiple components. Modifiers that you learn by rote are always available in rote spells, allowing you to make spells with more components and modifiers than you would normally be able to using the inscription tube. Nice. Okay, so there is no crafting process or material cost when making spells in the book of rote as it represents your memorization of the spell. You simply make the spell you need at the time. Huh. Oh. So I might be able to make it more powerful that way. Get out of my way, thingy. I got... Whoa, fucking help. I'm almost afraid of the next level of jetpack. I can barely control this fucker. Okay, so... Affinity faction. Okay, that's cool. Sorcery. So fire damage. That must be the rote leveling. And touch. Tier 3. So there's speed. Range is barely moved. Rituals. Oh, wow. Ritual of the Arcana. What does those do? Mana weave. Patterns. Oh, this is kind of neat. So I wonder what it was trying... I bet I was... When I was drawing one of those, it was seeing one of these other shapes or something that was fucking me up. Oh, wow. How the fuck? Oh, those are going to suck to have to draw. Mana weaving... Crafting. Rune scribe. Wow, there's so much to this mod. This is crazy. Aura of leaps and bounds. Aura of the deep. What are some of these auras? Um There's a lot to this mod. This is this is pretty neat, actually. Enchantments. Runic enchantment. So aura of the depths. Aura will periodically drain my mana in order to make me more attuned to activities underwater. Due to it being a particularly complicated magical construction, I can only place it on a chest armor as it has enough space for all the rune work needed. Oh, cool. So you can put that to just a piece of chest armor. Jumping. That would be handy. Uh, only place on a chest also? Drain my mana in order to increase my ability to jump as well as those in close proximity to me. That's kind of cool. Mining, drain my banana to increase my mining speed. Which, since I don't mine manually, that's not really a big thing. Drain my mana in order to apply movement speed, increase me in those and close. That's kind of cool too, but not going to be super useful for me. Constructs, I can build a little guy who walks around doing stuff for me. Mana crystal, ring of collection, ring of silk, ring of rings of breaking, brazier, belt of selfishness. Belt when worn causes aura enchantments to only affect me and cost less mana while doing so. Huh. That's interesting. Belt of locks. This belt when worn prevents my affinity from changing when I cast spells. Huh. So if you don't want your affinity to increase or decrease, you can throw that on there and just throw everything. That's kind of interesting. Enderguard amulet. When worn will teleport nearby creepers that are about to explode away from me as long as it has charge remaining. Hopefully they don't teleport near something else that's friendly. <laughs> so they apparently they still explode. I kind of have... I, <laughs> I hate creepers. They're a pain in the ass. Reserve of experience. Changing the mode. Sneak news. Between input and output, I can either store experience at times where I have plenty or retrieve experience in a pinch when I need. Huh. Another way to store experience. Ring of Silk will enhance my break spells to be more delicate, allowing me to harvest things I wouldn't normally be so you get silk touch on your break spells. There's so much stuff to... Ooh, fortune. These rings will enhance my luck at finding treasure when mining. So that's for brick mining. That gives you fortune. Staff of the Pilgrim. When held in my op hand, this staff will channel the spirits of wanderlust to increase my movement speed, my jump height, my swim speed, and give me a form of step assist. Cool. That's pretty handy. Slipstream generators and marvel of air magic. When placed, it affects an area 50 blocks above it and 50 blocks below it in a single block column. Wizards that stand within this column will be grabbed by the slipstream. If the wizard looks up, they will rise through the slipstream. If the wizard looks down, they will safely lower through the slip. Oh, so it's an elevator. Speed of raising and lowering is dependent on how much the wizard looks up or down. 
Crouching will lock the wizard in place in the slipstream, allowing them to look around or interact without being moved by the slipstream itself. Huh. That's kind of cool. You can make a little elevator. It's a magic elevator. God damn, there's so much stuff on here, man. So I'm guessing collections like a magnet, pedestal, mana crystal fragment, mage armor. Oh yeah, that's it doesn't give you much armor, but it uses your mana to recharge itself. How much is the armor though? When I wear full set, increase my maximum mana and mana regen to the runes I put on it. Okay, so that just gives you your mana regen faster. You can dye it any color and it repairs itself with your mana, but I wonder how much actual mana it gives you. Warding candles might be good. I think those prevent creased or yeah. 32 block radius in all directions around the candle. They must be lit with flint and still, a fire spell, or a flame cantrip to function. They can be extinguished by right-clicking. When extinguished, they will not prevent monsters from spawning. That'd be kind of cool, but I need some honeycomb. And uh, mystic uh, smog stem slab. Oh, just a wood slab. Ah, oh, there's so much in this, this mod. It's crazy. Uh... But that doesn't tell me how I can make more powerful version of this other than making it rote. So, gravity well. I saw an apple falling off the tree the other day and it gave me an idea. What if I use the spell to enhance the gravity of that apple? Maybe that's thinking too small. What if I could increase gravity on myself? It would have seemingly all kinds of uses. Why would I want to increase the gravity on myself? I'm not sure what that would actually do. Maybe it just bring. I think it probably just brings things to you. So, kind of interesting. So I kind of, I probably want to make one of these. Uh, got everything but the mundane ring. What the fuck's a mundane ring? That doesn't tell me. And it's dark again, because I spent all day reading the book. <laughs> I imagine some people have done that a lot. <laughs> Spend all day reading and go, where the fuck did the time go? Ring. Is that the mundane ring? That's the mundane ring. Oh, it's a rune. I need a runic an anvil. Well, how the fuck do I make a runic anvil? Anvil. That one. I need two wizard chalks, a barrel, and an anvil. So an anvil... Should be pretty easy to make. I need some wizard chalk. I need another wizard chalk. Oh, that's why I was only able to make one. I need to craft that item. And barrel. Currently missing some items. Got to craft those. So now I need a barrel again. It just doesn't know how to make a slab. Okay, well, let's teach it how to make a wooden slab. Clear that. Slab. We'll just teach it how to make oak. Damn it. I don't know why the right-clicking thing's not working anymore. It used to work just fine. Right-clicking, left-clicking on the pattern up here, but not on that one, fucker. Uh, anvil. This kind of anvil. So, we still need one more wizard chalk. Still need a barrel. Fuck. Craft the items. Thank you. Barrel. Still need an anvil. And now we should have a runic anvil. I should probably put my spell back in the spell book so I don't have... Thing! Uh, this thing? Yes. Put that in there for now. Uh, no, fuck. Okay, so I have a runic anvil. What was I making on the runic anvil? Something in here. Mundane rings. What items do I need in a mundane ring? Mundane. Mundane bracelet. So I need superheated ventium ingots. Mundane ring pattern. How do I make a mundane ring pet? Oh, wow. I gotta do rune scribing. 
You know what? Uh, for that, I think I will wait. Uh, that seems like it's just going to take a while. And I'm not quite ready to do some of this stuff anyway. So I'll stick that back down here. Go there. Because I've got to get a hold of runing. I need to get an area set up for this. And I can actually have golems do the scribing. Not golems, constructs. I think I can build them to make it. I really need to finish this and move my stuff into there so I have a proper base. So that's what I really need to do. Um, I'm, I am having fun with this uh, mana and artifice and have a... Oh cool, I just leveled up. <laughs> I have a small spell. It's not that great, but it does its job. Um, whoa. I can't set things on fire on the side like the like the um thing. Flint and steel. Blah, 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 blah. Fuck. But um I mean hell just casting this is setting is leveling me up, so I'll see. I just leveled up again. So that's the main reason why I'm kinda of just setting everything on fire just to level up. It is kind of expensive. Mana wise, but okay, mana just continually charges, right? Oh, hey, it did spread down the log. Working. You do your thing. Burn the fucker down. Portal keeps. Oh, really? That tree. <laughs> that tree survived my flaming. I just leveled up again. I'm okay with this. This is a fun way to level up. Set the world on fire. Uh, I want that. Yeah, I don't want to burn. Oh, fuck! Stop setting myself on fire! <laughs> I should probably pick up the tulip. Just because, you know, flowers are handy to have. So, a little bit more foray into the the mana and artifice. It's very, it's pretty complicated, but it's got a lot to it. It's really, it's a, it's a cool. This is a cool mod. Oh, everything just fucking disappeared on me. Okay, you do you. And uh, really complicated. I think my friend Crodex would really like this mod, especially this. The fact that he can, you know, set shit on fire constantly. I really hope there's a way to make a higher complexity version of this spell, so that. Oh, um, set it on fire, walk into the fire. I got nothing. <laughs> God damn it. Anyway, um, hopefully there's a way to make this more powerful in the sense of getting higher damage and longer range. Right now, just to get the, the damage that I've got, which is only 9. Ooh. That's... Oh no, come back. Where'd you go? I want to set your ass on fire. Come back. That not, so that did nine damage to his ass. And he's not dead. Where'd you go? There's another nine damage. Come here. Fuck, how much is nine damage? Should be like four and a half hearts, right? So, see, I still got to hit an Enderman four times with that spell before I kill it. And it's very close range. So, I, I really want that to be a little more powerful. Eventually, or have something that can be more powerful. Maybe I'll look into this, the Frost spell and see how much, how the complexity on that one. Because this one's complexity specifies that it can only have a complexity of 40. A max of 40, I think. Or was it? Yeah, max of 40 complexity. So how do I increase that number to make it more powerful so that I can have these higher da higher damage and higher range? So that is my question. So that's something I'll have to do some research on, I guess. And uh, But yeah, until next time, drink responsibly, folks.